In a recent documentary broadcast on Channel 5 in the UK, Egyptologists are shown climbing down ropes into a 20-foot deep pit full of water following the discovery of what is described as a mysterious opening. Tony Robinson, reporting for Channel 5, exclaimed upon being lowered into the opening. He says, Now that we're down here, it's clear this really is an entrance, even a doorway. He was posing the question as though in disbelief. This is a proper tomb, isn't it? He says only to be taken aback by deaf ears from his colleagues who were accompanying him. We remember Tony most fondly from the Time Team archaeological digs in the UK over a 20-year period. He is also an actor and comedian, so he is well adapted in the field of discovery. The remarkable thing was the fact that his guides were left utterly speechless, as though they froze and did not want to say anything else, like they understood something else that they may not have noticed and were shocked by it. According to Sputnik News, the stunning discovery came as Tony was visiting two leading scientists, Maria Nelson and John Ward, who are currently excavating a site in Jebel El Sicilla, also referred to as the Chain of Mountains, 40 miles north of the town of Aswan Quarry in Upper Egypt. The water has been pumped from the chamber to allow exploration. The origin of water flowing into the pit is something yet to learn. As Tony states, whatever this water is coming from, it's flowing in quickly through the mysterious opening and the links the ancient Egyptians went to to plan this inaccessible space seem to be completely overwhelming. When the archaeologists accompanied by Robinson reached the doorway, they caught a glimpse of skeletal remains, broken pottery, and last but not least, a second opening. Tony exclaims to the archaeologist in the Channel 5 show when he says, Look at it. What do you reckon would be in there? Needless to say, nothing has been revealed and further exploration is required, and that will take place in the cooler months in Egypt. However, now that this has been revealed, it is unknown as to the extent of excavation and indeed filming that can take place or when. Gabel El Sicilla is located on both banks of the Nile between Edfu and Kam Ambu and is a place whose significance was defined by its unique topographic features, namely the extremely narrow riverbed hemmed in by sandstone hills. From the New Kingdom on, huge quantities of sandstone for temple building was quarried here, and during the New Kingdom, it was a place of considerable religious importance and a place of worship of the inundation. It was also known for conspicuous royal favor towards private individuals. All of this resulted in a substantial number of monuments, from temples and even down to graffiti, most of them cut into the rock and are still visible to this day. Maria Nelson, who met Tony at the site, has uncovered almost 100 tombs at the necropolis since 2015. However, most of them have been plundered during antiquity and the same old story unfolds. Plundering during antiquity. Yeah, right. This is fast becoming a clear excuse and method of neglecting the past when it comes to discovering the ancient things in Egypt. If they can be gotten to before the storytellers get there first, then this will make the intact burials particularly important for understanding social life and customs during the time period whenever that may have been. Earlier this year, the same researchers found a ram-headed sphinx at the location, as well as many other rough-cut pieces from dynastic times and later on in Roman times. The site was again used as an ancient quarry. Gabel el Sicilla was once the world's largest sandstone quarry, from which the ancients extracted stone to build the renowned temples of Karnak, Luxor, Ramesseum, Edfu, and Dendera, to mention just a few. 32 Sintifus and the so-called Speos of Horamheb, Horos in Jubilation, are located along the Nile shore on the West Bank, in addition to which the site contains dozens of stela commemorating chapels and a series of tombs. 
Even more stela are found on the east bank along with various sandstone workshops. The quarries and cliffs are preserved with a great variety of graffiti ranging from prehistoric pictographs, hieroglyphic, high erratic, demotic, Greek and Coptic inscriptions all the way to figurative representations dating from Old Kingdom and throughout all subsequent ancient periods including the modern era, a constant site of importance in other words. Unique to the site is Egypt's largest collection of quarry marks. This place has never been properly excavated and as a consequence, all archaeological references to the site is limited to material visible on the surface. That's why we thought this report was very important for lost history. It was made the responsibility of the Egyptian Exploration Society for survey in 1955. However, their work resulted in only one monograph until the Swedish mission begun this work in 2012. No full archaeological study has ever been made of Gabel el Sicilla. What do you guys think about this anyway? Comments below and as always, thank you for watching.